Well, this video has been a long time in the making. From the solar panels on the roof to the shoreline and the portable solar panel connection to the electrical system that powers and supplies the entire van. So let me show you the system that I chose to install in the van. Let's start with the battery. An ampere time, 100 amp hour Lipro 4 lithium battery. The only downside to this battery is it does not have low temperature charge protection. These batteries cannot be charged below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Other than that, it's a great battery and a good price. Next, let's take a look at the charge controller. This is the Renergy DC to DC onboard charger. It controls the solar and the alternator charging part of the system. It is an MPPT controller for the solar, and it also will control the input to the battery from the alternator whenever the engine is running. So let's just look real quick. I know you see that light blinking. This blue light means that it is set up for lithium. This green light on the battery symbol means that the battery is fully charged. The solid red light on the solar panel means that I'm getting, I believe, bulk charging right now. And one of the nicest things about this, and one of the reasons I chose to use this particular uh, charger, was the fact that you notice this alternator symbol has got the red light blinking. When the battery is full, it will actually trickle charge the starting battery of the van. Uh, this is really great. If the battery in the van gets too low, it also cuts it off so that you're never going to be without being able to start your engine. And let's see, it gets 30 amps total. It's 15 from the solar panel if the alternator is running. If the alternator is not running, it gets the full 30 from the solar panel. Vice versa, if you're running down the road at night, you'll get a full 30 out of this. Now, that being said, if there is any other input, like from the onboard DC, or I'm sorry, AC to DC charger, we will only get 15 amps out of either one of these as well. In other words, you'll never get more than 30 amps going into the battery. And that's a good thing. So let's move on up here to the AC to DC charger. This is basically, uh, for those of you in the RV world, that's a converter. It converts AC voltage to DC voltage. And this is really a neat system. It will bring it up. It's specially designed for the lithium batteries. And it is made by Renergy. And it will charge 20 amps and... It brings the battery up to power. It has like four different stages, which keeps the life of the battery uh, just really well. You move up above that, and that is our fuse box for the 12 volt stuff. Those will go to different places. Uh, one of the places that it'll go is to this bank of switches, which will be up front on the cabinets. And you can see they all are fused as well. So I'm going to get really good protection. I'll have a 15 or 20 amp fuse here. And then the big wire will run up to the switch bank. And then each of the uh, appliances from there, the lights and that type of thing that would be controlled from those switches, will also have their own uh, fuse as well. And you see this hanging here. And this is part of the Victron system. That's a Victron shunt right there. And the purpose of the shunt is to show you how much uh, voltage you have in your battery, how much voltage you have going out or coming in, the watts, the amp hours. It's an amazing system. Let me show you what it looks like on the app on the phone. All right, let's take a look at the app. Victron Connect. So it will connect itself to the shunt. And let's just look at this. State of charge, 
It's maintaining it at 14.57 volts. We're not using any current. We're not using any wattage. The consumed hours is zero right now because nothing's coming out of the battery. Everything that's being used is coming directly from the uh, AC to DC charger. Time remaining, what that basically is, is if we were drawing power off the battery and we were using whatever amount it was, it would tell you how long at that current draw the battery would last. And in the starter battery, it shows that it's uh, just being trickle charged. Over here on the next page, this is the history. It just basically gives you some information. And what this basically will do is just allow you to be able to use your system more efficiently. So there you have it. There's the Victron amp that's on my cell phone. All right, and the other obvious thing you see are all of the different fuses. And these are a breaker slash disconnect. And I really like that because it allows me to be able to disconnect the solar panels if I need to for maintenance or completely disconnect the battery if I need to do that for maintenance. And it gives me plenty of protection. Did a lot of research to make sure that I had the adequate and appropriate size of fusing for each of the different things. This head on this Victron, I didn't mention it a while ago, it's just sitting here for now. It's actually going to go up and be used uh, in the cabinet on the outside next to that bank of switches. It just allows you to see what's going on without having to turn the amp, uh, app on on your phone. And I think one more thing to take a look at in a video that I just completed the other day is this is where the shore power comes in. This is just basically a distribution box for it. It's got a 15 amp breaker. It actually even has some USB charge ports as well. Okay, there you have it. A quick down and dirty of the electrical system that I chose to put in the van. I think I'm really going to like it. 300 watts of solar on the roof. Got the ability to put another 100 watt portable solar panel through the uh, outside connection. And it is just sweet. So, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. That always helps in those algorithms for YouTube, as you know. I'll try to put some of the uh, links to the stuff that I have purchased off of Amazon in the uh, description below. And, of course, you know, that's at no extra charge to you guys. But if you do choose to uh, purchase it through those links, it will help the channel. So there we go. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you on the next one. Later.